Hey, it's Eamon. It's the weekend, which means we're posting Make a Bear content. Hey, it's Eamon at Rome Maker Fair on the Friday. Um, it's about halfway through the day. I'm here with Zoll uh, to talk about the OX33 board, which is a ice, isomorphic, isomorphic keyboard. Isomorphic music keyboard. keyboard, yeah. Nice. Sure. And as everyone knows, probably by now, I love musical stuff. So um, can you explain a little bit about the idea behind sure, this absolutely. and the technology in there? So basically, uh, this is just a regular MIDI keyboard that you can hook up to a computer or an external mm -hmm. hardware synth, uh, or with the headphone port, you can just have make music. You know, you press the keys and music comes out, basically. So that far is just like a regular keyboard, right? Um, it's basically based on the concept of isomorphism, which is mm -hmm. not a recent invention at all. It's like from the uh, 18th century, there was keyboards like this already. Is it um, like a lot of accordions use that type of keyboard Accordions well? do yeah, use okay. a keyboard like that, nice. yeah. And also on pianos, there was keyboards like this, but okay. they were basically, uh, you know, the, the, the regular keyboard worn out, unfortunately, yeah. I would say. And oh, so fair enough. <laughs> the, the big difference is basically that, as you can see, it's, it's a regular arrangement of keys. Mm -hmm. Like there's no exceptions, there's no black keys, white keys, mm -hmm. or anything like that um, and so it ends up that every kind of musical concept like a like a chord uh, or a melody even has a, an equivalent shape on the keyboard mm. so nice. for example the major chord is uh, formed in this particular configuration by going two over and then up and diagonal to the first key like oh, this yes. Uh, and so wherever you play that kind of shape, so if you play it up here, this is the, the A key, for example. Okay. So if I play it from here, it's an A major chord. If okay. I play it over here, where we start on the C, it's a C major chord. Cool. And so uh, basically you can much more intuitively relate these musical concepts into actually playing them. Uh, and so uh, I've, I've built this keyboard because I found out about these concepts. Mm. Uh, I, I learned a little bit of music theory in uh, high school. Nice. Uh, but never really went anywhere with that, and I found it kind of complicating. And then when I found out about this, I was like, okay, if I'm going to learn this again, if mm. I'm going to try learning this yeah. again, I, I want a keyboard like that because nice. it's, it's just like it just removes a layer of indirection uh, and complication that uh, that was throwing me off. And so, um, of course, I've lost a lot of time building this mm -hmm. uh, that I could have spent learning it, and so I'm kind of behind on learning it. But I am spending uh, some quality time getting to know the basics, uh, and I'm finding it actually quite uh, quite helpful. And um, so, in that sense, it's absolutely a success. Uh, then we have the you know the uh, RGB LEDs uh, mm -hmm. that can highlight some information. So basically, the the you can see that some keys are brighter than others right now. Oh yep. Uh, and so those are all the keys of the C major scale. So that's what would be the white keys on a traditional piano. I see. I see. Uh, the difference is that I can change it because it's in software. So I can just say that I want to play the uh, E major scale. And okay. so now it's shifted over. Nice. Uh, and you can set it up to other scales, minor scales, uh, pentatonic scales, or whatever you want to play. Uh, and so, you know, you have that benefit of having the visual uh, information about what is in key. And so if you play those notes, it will tend to sound well. You won't have that, like, uh, you know, just like when you, when you play on a yeah. regular piano, you just go pressing random keys. Yeah. You're probably going to get tired pretty quickly of the, of the bad combinations yeah. you start playing. And so this way, you know, you have that same kind of uh, safety net if you want to. Um, and then in some different modes that I have for, uh, for the highlighting, uh, let me see if I can pull it off here. Uh, some of the keys, they can remain illuminated once you've pressed them. Okay. And so if you want to jam, then basically the idea behind this is that if you jam and you go off scale or something, mm -hmm. the, the keys stay illuminated for a bit so you can kind of find your way back. Nice, okay. Cool. Uh, and you can set it up to, to last longer or shorter depending on what you're playing basically. Just, uh, Excellent. So when you designed this, where you, did you, where did you start from? Did you start from like what micro? Is it microcontroller based? Yeah, or? yeah, okay. sure. There's a microcontroller. So the first version is this one over here. Okay. Um, so I participated in the Fab Academy in 2020. Okay. Uh, and this was my final project. Uh, I came there. Uh, it was not like my my initial idea, mm. but I ended up there um, through some experimentation. Mm. Uh, and so this was uh, a musical keyboard when in this state, assembled, mm -hmm. where it's rather similar to this one, or uh, just a mechanical computer keyboard when you separate it out into two halves. Ah, okay. So ergonomic yeah, keyboard that. that lets you open uh, your, your shoulders a bit more, basically. And so this is based around the uh, 80 Mega 32U4. Okay, excellent. Microcontroller. 
And so this PCB uh, is, uh, is let's say, homemade like in, in the lab. So mm. this is a uh, milled in the lab, a double side uh, PCB. Nice. Uh, and then, you know, once I passed on to these further prototypes, uh, I decided to make my life a bit easier. Oops. So here you can see the, the back of another PCB. So this is just like a, a fab made, you know, professional oh, that's, PCB. That's beautiful. With yeah. uh, surface mount components. Oh, is that a uh, uh, RP2040. Yeah. It's an RP2040. So this is the, it's called the RP2040 stamp, this little board by Arturo182, I think he's called. Okay. Uh, I went with this because it's, uh, I mean, it's not much smaller, but it has a form factor that suits this board. Yeah. And it doesn't have the USB on board. So I could put the USB where I wanted, and I really wanted to have it in this little corner. Oh, fair uh, enough. So I could nice. place it, you know, I had a bit more design flexibility that way. Cool. I see, I see it's using USB C. How yeah. if you, obviously that's quite. Well, it's been around for a while, but now that's becoming a standard. How have you found working with USB-C over the other uh, I protocols? haven't done much with the previous ones, to be honest, like real projects where I had to solder them right. myself. I've heard in the like in the mechanical keyboard community, there are a lot of mm. people that have been complaining about the um, micro USB connector. Oh, yeah. Because, because they... apparently it tends to break really yep. quickly. Yep. Uh, completely so... correct. So I went with USB-C from the start because I read a bit about these things and I thought, you know, it's the future kind of uh, Good choice. reversible. <laughs> uh, why, why not, obviously? Um, they are a bit finicky to solder, obviously, with the very small pins mm. because you have twice as many because they're mirrored, yeah. so, so they're all right on there. Uh, but I've not had too many issues. Usually, you know, you have to maybe reflow it another time if it doesn't end up working. Fair but uh, working pretty well. I haven't had issues with them uh, breaking off or anything. Uh, so. So that's good. Good, good. Well, thank you very much, Saul. That thank was, you for having that, me. That was amazing. Obviously, probably more exciting for me than most of the community. So I'm going to have a little play and uh, sure. have a experience uh, isomor isomorphic keyboards again. Isomorphism, yeah, let's uh, go. Yeah. Cool, thank Lots you very, very much. Thank you. OK, so we're back on the Sunday, and we've got the equipment to do a demo. So let's go. because there was a sound that was kind of clipping. Uh -huh. But let's try to raise that again. If it gets a bit louder, where are we at? MIDI, here. Okay. Oh, that's, that's way louder. <laughs> 